What is up? Cable2KX here, and this is my Let's Play channel. Um, I started a channel a while back called P2, and it didn't take off as well, only because I was really freaking busy, especially with work, and I had my cousin that was part of the whole P2 thing, and he got extremely busy at work. Um, we worked for the same company, and he got busy, and I got busy, and um, I just couldn't keep up with the games that were coming out. And he had a lot of personal stuff going on with his life, so he couldn't keep up. And it just it fell apart. So this is my, basically me starting over. And um, right now, as you can see, I'm playing some Call of Duty. And this is um, Nuketown. I think I did relatively okay. I'm not sure. Um, no, yeah, I did okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did okay. And I was just... This is one of them, you're trying to get gameplay, and you don't want it to suck, and you're just not putting something random crap out there. Um, you want to find good footage, and I could not find good footage, so I was getting frustrated, and I ended up switching a bunch of weapons, and you can see in the video, I switched weapons like three or four times, and it was just ridiculous. I couldn't get nothing going. I think towards the end, I finally get something going. I'm switching weapons now. Um... I finally get something going towards the end, and I end up getting, I think, a, I think I get all of them, a satellite, uh, AMP, and a Warhawk, I think I get two going. Um, right now, you can see, um, I wanted to bring up, because I just saw Fast, um, Fast and Furious 6, me and my wife went to the movies last night, um, great movie, I want to say great, great movie, it was what you expect from the Fast and Furious type series. Um, plenty of action, plenty of cars getting destroyed, plenty of just mind-blowing stunts switching guns again. I just, I, I had a, this was just kicking my ass. I was trying to find so much good gameplay to put on here. But, um, back to the movie. I got the, and, yeah, it was different. And it was different from the other ones because this one actually led into another fashion. They're going to do another one. Spoiler alert. I apologize if you haven't seen it. I'm not really telling you too much. Um, but they are doing another one. And that one looking like it's going to be very interesting. Um, they did a really good job with this one. Um, a lot of, like I said before, a lot of action. A lot of over, -top, over the top stuff. And it was just all around a well rounded good movie. I got a tr I was going for a triple there. But a uh, boy stole my kill. Then I get killed by this freaking camper sitting at the top of the steps. There. But whatever. Um, yeah, it was. I wanted to say I'm going to go with Siskel and Ebert style and give it two thumbs up. The Rock was great in it. Um, Mark. I'm going to say Mark Robert. That's not his name. Um, I forget his name. I don't know what his name is. The dude that played Brian. He, he was great in it. Um, a, a lot of. One scene kind of stuck out to me at the end. Um, the endless freaking runway. Like, come on. It landed and took off. And it was still on the fucking runway. That shit was freaking crazy. But I'm going to give it two thumbs up. The movie was good. Um, it was worth seeing. Definitely go check it out if you haven't already. I didn't spoil anything, but you're going to see it. That's noticeable as hell if you don't see that. Um... I also wanted to do this to bring up a preview of my next game. I'm going to do a Let's Play 2, and that is Remember Me. Um, I don't know if you guys heard of this game. It's kind of flying under the radar, especially being so close to E3. I would think they would want to push it a little bit more. Should have got a two-piece here. Um, but you would think they would want to push this game more like The Last of Us is getting pushed. What's a AAA title? This one's Capcom. I don't know if they would consider this. It's supposed to be a new entry for them. Um... I don't know if it's going to be a lasting entry, but it's time for them to bring out something new. And I think I thought this would be it. I'm thinking this may be it, but it looks interesting enough. It's about some girl who cyber attacks people's memories through a social, like a social network type thing. Um, it's it's based in like 2014 or not 2014, right? um, 2084. And from what I understand, it's her attacking this is where I get my oh, I, that pissed me off there because I was all the way up the stairs waiting on him and he got a shot off that was bullshit um, but it happens where people can trade and 
purchase and share all types and type of memories. And I guess if you get like deprived, you end up changing to see some different type of monsters. Um, it's not going to show it. I don't think it shows it in this gameplay, but they end up monitoring themselves. Um, but it, it was, it looked interesting and it looked like it had a good story. And that's one thing I like about like these first person single player games. You have to have a great story in order for me to get it, it, it catch my attention. And this one seemed like it would, so it comes out this Tuesday. Today is Sunday, so it comes out in two days. So I'll definitely be picking this up and starting a full completion. It comes out June 4th. Um, a full completion of this Let's Play. Look at that. Two Warhogs, an EMP, and a... Did I just miss a pet? No, someone got him. Okay. Um, but... I will be picking up and this will be a full let's play um expect to see more completions a full let's play experience along with some call of duty stuff and a few on um, topic stuff that i want to bring up i definitely gotta get my my crew with me they're not running on me of this game i i had to take off for the the family and i got back on when they got home and this is me playing without them but i normally run with a good a good group of guys dale Tron, gunner D Rock and Tripler. Nah, no particular order there. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're they're also the people I run with. Real good groups, real good group of, group of guys, and I'm going to try to have them on um, as much as I can, as much as they want. But yeah, this is wrapping up towards the end. I went 35 and 14. It was a pretty good game, and for me, this for well, the way it started out, it wasn't looking good, but it, it turned out to be a pretty good game. And thank you for listening. And I hopefully will see you guys. I'll see you, but you hear more from me and you get to see more stuff from me. Well, you will see more stuff from me, I should say. All right, have a good one.